So guys, this is the photo which we gonna edit just like gallop, like you know, jellyfish theme, like it is you know touching a jellyfish in the bad model is. So if you don't know who is Caleb then just search on Instagram that is you know where he is a very famous Instagram photographer and a unique concept he has in his profile a very kind of you know amazing and lightest concept. So first of all we gonna just you know just crop the image for our Instagram ratio that is 80 to 10 ratio and guys don't forget to follow that profile that creative profile on Instagram and we really do respect his creativity. So let's just add some <coughs> jellyfish in the photo so let's just drag and drop over here <coughs> now we're gonna just select the jellyfish whatever you wanna select or whatever particular fish you want you can just select it with the you know lasso tool I want G I want this jellyfish, so I'm gonna just select it and just make a layer where I cut. So it will make a, another layer of that particular selection. Now let's create new layer. Select the brush tool and just select the black color over here. And just give a one stroke of that color over here. Press Ctrl T. And we're gonna just place it somewhere over here because we want to make it look more dark and blackish effect. So we're gonna just place it somewhere over this position of the right screen. Now we're gonna just place this, you uh, know, that uh, what we say, jellyfish over here to get that perfect, you know, look of the fish. Now we're gonna duplicate the layer. Just press Ctrl J from the keyboard, and now we're gonna select one more jellyfish from here. Let's select this jellyfish with the help of marquee tool and just press layer by cut. Now we're gonna just place it somewhere over on the top portion of the image. Guys, don't forget to you know follow that profile that is Gallup profile on Instagram. He is really an amazing inspiration for us. Now we're gonna just place it somewhere over here. <coughs> now again let's create a black piece effect. Select the brush tool, create one layer and just give one stroke of that black color. Press Ctrl D to enlarge that black effect layer. We are creating this black effect because we want to get this, you know, jellyfish to look in a perfect way. So we are just creating this black effect in the background. To enhance the jellyfish and to give it an amazing look, we are gonna just make it a black effect in the background below the, you know, the jellyfish layer. You can just uh, erase it with the help of eraser. Let's take some more jellyfish from here. Guys, you can just download this PNG pre I don't know the file from the links in the description.
here also we're gonna do the same process we're gonna just create the black effect on the below layer of the jellyfish Now here we're gonna just make the you know that the jellyfish layer to kind of blur effect. So go to the filter and just select the Gaussian blur and just make it blur to around 10 to 12 percent around. Just make a little bit of blur. Let's, let's select one more jellyfish from this PNG so again let's select the marquee tool and just select one of the PNG or cut out one of the PNG from here so just right click on it and select layer while cut so it will be cut into an another layer now go to the filter and select directly the Gaussian blur press ctrl T and enlarge the image and we can just place it somewhere over here Now we're gonna select one more that uh, light or the jellyfish PNG from here. <coughs> you can guys select any of the PNG from here. Let's select this photo or the PNG jellyfish. Now just right click on it and do the same process. Layer our cut. Go to the edit and first of all we'll make it a Gaussian blur filter and select the Gaussian blur. Now press Ctrl T to enlarge the image and we're gonna just place it somewhere over here. <coughs> now we're gonna select the eraser tool and just delete it or erase from this portion a little bit with the soft round brush we gonna duplicate the you know the background layer or the original layer now here we will go to the filter and select the, directly the camera filter and now here we gonna just reduce the highlights and just pump out a little bit of you know darkness shadows to get the perfect details so you can see the difference a huge difference of highlights can be seen in the photo so we gonna just re reduce the highlights and increase the shadows a little bit And just hit ok you can see the difference guys here is the before and here is the after it is really looking very very amazing now we're gonna just duplicate add a layer mask on this we're gonna just remove it or to erase the you know photo from with the help of selecting the brush and add a layer mask on it and we're gonna just paint it the more darker over here with the help of brush tool and make the opacity to around 35 percent and just make a dark you know just erase it from the dark region where like hairs or something like that you can just remove that from also from the hand 
because we want the perfect shadows and kind of details so we're gonna just make it darker so we're gonna just erase it with the help of layer mask and you can see the difference guys now again we will just press duplicate the image or directly you can press ctrl j from the keyboard now we're gonna just merge both the layers Here the important thing is to ready, uh, create an amazing light effect on the face of the region of the model, right? So we're gonna select the face of the model with the help of quick selection tool. Also guys, you can select with the help of you know pen tool uh, very perfectly. It will take some time. Now just press Ctrl J from the keyboard when you have done the selection, right? Or you can select layer or copy option. Now let's create new layer and select the create a clipping mask, select the brush tool and just here we're gonna just select the whitish blue effect, tealish you know kind of effect or the color from here and just paint on the edges of the face of the model to get the perfect shadows right. So this will actually bring it look more creative and look like a very original and the light is actually coming from that uh, jellyfish layer so we just gonna make it to screen blending uh, the image sorry the layer blending mode let's try the soft light now you can see soft light is actually making it look more realistic let's duplicate it by pressing ctrl j also do the same process by adding a clipping mask so it will only affect the beneath layer now we're gonna just reduce the saturation of this tone and just increase the lightness <coughs> and you can see the difference guys it's really looking very very amazing here let's create one more layer select the brush tool and select the just make it to kind of you know give a one stroke of the white color to over here make it to soft light because we want our subject space to glow right so press control from the key and just a mouse click and select the inverse and we're gonna just select the eraser tool and just erase it from the rest of the area because we want only on the face region right so we're gonna just add it on the face with the help of brush tool of the white stroke now here we're gonna just let's try the overlay or the screen let's try the overlay now this one is looking very very amazing guys overlay blending mode But here there is some more things to be done. So select the eraser tool and we're gonna just remove the perfect that uh, what do you say edges we have painted with the color. So we're gonna just erase it with the soft round brush of the eraser on the edges. So just erase it from the edge of the model face a little bit. Don't add too much of uh, eraser just a little bit would be pretty much perfect because it is looking unrealistic on the harsh edge so we're gonna just make it more softer with the help of eraser right <coughs> let's try some more adding this uh, light effect on this area also on the other eyes of the model so let's select the with the help of pen tool this much area control enter to make a selection 
let's go on the top of above all the layers create new layer and just select the brush tool and just paint it with the whitish color on the edges because we want our this one, uh, second eyes also to be look amazing so we gonna just paint with the white color and just change the blending mode to overlay let's try some different you know, modes from that uh, uh, blending mode whatever is shooting you can just try it but according to me just keep it a uh, overlay blending mode it is actually making it look more realistic now we're gonna select the eraser tool and just erase the harsh edges of that uh, you know that uh, light effect layer which we have made recently Let's add some, you know, fairy dust particles in the image. So just to make it uh, saturation to zero, and just drag it and drop over here. Change the blending mode to screen. Press Ctrl T from the keyboard. Reduce the size of that. First of all, we'll just duplicate this layer and press Ctrl T place it on the above, above all the layers and just reduce the size of that image or the layer and we're gonna just place it near this uh, you know jellyfish because we want a fairy dust like theme or kind of uh, you know thing on the image so we're gonna just place it somewhere near the jellyfish so that it may look like a fantasy thing kind of right and just reduce or erase the unwanted bigger particles with the help of eraser which you don't want you can definitely use the eraser tool to delete that particular brush strokes or the fairy dust stroke now we're gonna just press ctrl J and duplicate one more layer and just flip it and rotate it and just place it somewhere anywhere over here just randomly place that uh, very dust to think again let's just press control J from the keyboard and just place it on this area press ctrl j again and we're gonna just place it over this position Select the eraser tool to delete the unwanted bigger particles. Now we can add a bookcase effect or a bouquet layer manual bucket to the photo so we're gonna just select the bucket photo or the png from here let's browse one of the bucket image from here 
let's select this bokeh uh, photo now press ctrl l and just make it look more darker and just press ctrl a and ctrl c just paste it on top of the above old layer by pressing ctrl v change the blending mode to screen decrease the size of this bokeh particles and just place it anywhere for the position wherever you want you can just place it <coughs> again let's make it look more darker with the help of and just make uh, levels and you can see the difference it is really looking amazing now let's select the eraser tool and just erase the unwanted you know bokeh image particles from the photo with the help of eraser tool let's duplicate this image first of all we are going to just crop the photo with the help of crop tool now we are going to just duplicate this bokeh photo and let's place it somewhere over here Again press Ctrl J from the keyboard and just place it somewhere over here. and duplicate the image press ctrl t and we can just place it same on this direction also on the other side of the photo here select the red tone and just decrease the saturation of that and just hit ok And we're gonna just remove that uh, red to red color bokeh with the help of eraser. You can just duplicate that layer with the help of Ctrl J. And finally, here we have almost you know done our uh, adding up everything process. So the next thing would be to you know just uh, first of all let's add some more light effect on the hand region, right? So we're gonna just select the hand and select the create new layer and select the brush stroke with the help of you know white is effect. and change the blending mode to overlay right now you can see the difference guys it is really looking very very amazing a huge difference can be seen in the photo this was the bokeh so we gonna just erase this unwanted bokeh from here
where was that layer here it is right now here you can see the edges are very sharp and hard right so we're gonna just erase it with the help of eraser only the edges so select the eraser and select the soft round brush and just erase it on the edge of that model or that uh, photo just a little bit make the opacity to around 50 percent and just paint uh, erase from the edge of that hand region Now you can see this one is looking very very amazing, you can see the difference. Now the next thing would be to add it, place that layer on the top of all the layers, right? Now we are gonna just merge all the layers with the help of shift key and just right click on it and select merge. Now guys you can also you know directly apply the preset also from our website, let's crop once again. Or you can just add a manual adjustment just I am doing in the video. So just follow as I am doing. Right, we are go to the filter, select the camera filter. And we're gonna just adjust a manual adjustment. So go to the calibration, change the primary color. Go to the calibration and change the blue primary color and increase the saturation a little bit to around plus 10. Add a contrast in the photo. Let's increase a little bit of lightness in the photograph. Just decrease a little bit of shadows. Increase some whiteness effect in the photo. This all guys adjustment you can just do by yourself according to your photo and the skin tone right this is totally up to you add a little bit of sharpness if it is needed now let's try by adding the clarity but let's keep it zero now you can see the difference that is really looking very very amazing let's add a highlights of little bit of yellow stone so just increase the saturation to a little bit only to around 19 now from the hue of the blue tone if you like make the aqua color to kind of bluish just add a little bit of to around minus one now this one is looking kind of similar tone to that of you know color <laughs> so you can just use the curves if you want otherwise just let it be as it is So finally here we have done almost everything process of the color adjustment so you can guys also add some preset to the photo also with that I have already given you tons of preset on my website so you can just download it for free that in the form of mobile lightroom maybe in the PC lightroom or for your you know camera preset but everything is given on my website that is www.ashwigracens.com so do check that uh, visit, uh, visit that website right 
so guys you can see the difference here was the before and here is the after a huge difference can be seen Thank you.